Hello and good morning. Welcome to Stump and Chat. Let us check we're live in the right place. A bit later than the usual scheduled 9.30. Um, so not sure who will be hopping on today because we're feeling a bit disjointed. Let's just check I am in the right place before we go any further. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, and also here in Gloucestershire, it's half term. So I know some of you will be on a different routine today as well. So, but the most important thing is that this gets uploaded to YouTube so that you can catch up at any time that you like. So a funny old day today. I've just dropped Alfie off at the vets. Um, they've admitted him for the day, although I may have to go after I finished on my live to pick him up. So he's gone for his final scan just to see how the abscess is doing. Fingers crossed that um, all is shrinking. He's on his last antibiotics today. So he seems much more himself. He's much brighter. He's jumping around as usual, his usual lively self, wanting to run up and down the stairs. Um, and it's really weird that he's not here with me today. I hate it in the house when he's not around. It's really strange. So um, good morning if you are just hopping on. Um, I'm not going to waffle for too long because, like I said, I have to ring the vets as soon as I've finished. And I've got so much to show you. So much is happening. Uh, very exciting day today. The annual catalogue and the January to April mini catalogue have last chance lists going live. So that means all of the products that are retiring are available to purchase um, with the discounts today. So good morning, Helen, my lovely. How are you doing? Isn't it nice to have the sun shining? It makes all the difference, even though it's chilly out there. Um, I've layered up today. You know me, I'm always cold. It's not cold over here at all. And now I'm thinking maybe I didn't need this shirt over the top. It's quite warm with the sun coming in, but it's beautiful out there. So lovely for half term if you've got children and you're out and about. So I'm child free today. I had children all day yesterday and I'm having children tomorrow, maybe Thursday. Um, Ev's birthday is on Friday. So a busy old week. Right, what do I wanna share with you first? I've got loads of things to share. Let's run through a couple of things that are retiring. Let's make a bit of room. Get you down onto my desk and just confirm with you. Let me just change my view. Sorry, got a close up then. I realized I hadn't turned my sound off on my MacBook. So, yeah, beautiful bit of sunshine out there, blue sky, few clouds. So bear with the palm of the hand. Let's get you down on the desk. And scoochy everything around. Press the right button this week. Got a little sneak peek here. A little zoom. So I've got things Gosh, have I just zoomed way too much? I've got things to share with you that are retiring. Um, might have to zoom a little bit just so you can see what I'm doing. And also I've got, let's, let's just take this down. I've got some class things to show and I wanted to show the colours as well. So let's bring in all the retiring colours. Okay, so we're having a colour refresh. Hello, Renee, how are you doing? Thank you for stopping by. So the in colours for 2021-2023, they also include Fresh Freesia, which is still on my shelf because, hallelujah, it's staying, but I'm super gutted that these are all retiring. Um, ink refills are not available at the moment. Everybody's been ordering them. They have got a due date on, I think, but I can't remember what it is. So out of those four ink colors, this is going to be a returning color. Um, let's put that back. My ink 
storage looks very sad at the minute because I've pulled everything off. So, so those are going. I've got two. Let's have a look at what we've got. We've got Sahara sand from the neutrals that is going. These are my two very old style ink pads. You can see that. That's so why I've just pulled these out first. And then we've got Pacific Point, which is a bright colour that is going. Um, I know soft succulent. I am so disappointed. I was convinced that was going to stay. I'd really talked myself into the, the fact that it was going to be staying. And when, when I saw it on the list, I was like, no, I just love it so much. Um, so those two old styles. And then in the new styles, we've got Mary Merlot and what I'm using today. Let's pull that one out soft suede those are also from the neutrals they are both going drop that one on the floor can you see and it a bit broke out have to be careful opening that one so those two are both going i'm using soft suede today so then we've got from the subtles so saffron which i'm so sad about Pear Pizzazz, I love too. I know, don't be going on about the evergreen and the succulents. <laughs> I'll be, I'll start crying. I'm so sad that they're going. So um, you need to stock up on refills and stuff like that. And then also Blushing Bride, which that's slightly faded, that top, top colour, which I like Blushing Bride, um, but it is kind of a bit of a washy sort of pink. So those are from the Settles. And then from the Brights, I've not long bought Mango Melody. This one is almost brand new. So Mango Melody, Bermuda Bay, which I'm really sad about. I love that. And Rich Razzleberry, that is going too. So that's all the colours that are retiring. We do have, let's move all of these out of the way. We do have some returning colours, which I've only got two of those. So, let me just pull them up. They are old ink colours. Got Merry, Mer uh, Merry Merlot, Misty Moonlight and Pretty Peacock. Those are the only two I've got, but I have ordered all of the new colours coming in. So I've got brand new ink pads because Stampin' Up! are recommending that we do not use old style ink refills on different ink pads. So basically, if you bought an ink pad and a refill at the same time, they'll be fine. But they said due to chemicals that are in them, that, you know, it could cause problems if you were using a really old reinker with a really new ink pad. So I have purchased all of the new in colour ink pads and all of the the new core colour ink pads that are coming in. So I've got a whole load of new stuff coming. I placed a massive order this morning. I've got another order I'm putting through. So if you are one of my local regular customers and you don't want to do your retired list order, shout me, I've got an order going through at lunchtime. So you can add to it. But just bear in mind, things may have sold out by then. So I've pulled off of my, I've got a huge basket of stamp sets that are retiring and we don't even want to talk about my pile of dies. I might have to show you that. Um, but these are just some of my favourites that I pulled out. Framed florets. I've done so much with this and I'm really shocked that it's going because it's such a beautiful set. I really thought it would stay a bit longer. Look at these colours. Petal pink, even an evergreen, soft succulent. You can tell I love these colours. They're very, very Kerry, as you would say. It's just stunning. But we have to make way for new things coming in. The little cracker as well. The cracker die is staying, thankfully. So let me grab my catalogue because I had a quick look in. An absolute bargain. Um, 
the framed florette stamp set is down to just eight pounds eighty excuse my scroll um i really scribble when i'm i'm putting all my um prices and reductions in here because it's such a long list to go through when i get really fed up and i just scribble it, it, it when i get to the end of it the dies there which i've got behind me are 14 pounds where are they look at them so fourteen pounds and eight pounds eighty, such a low price for that bundle. But as I've said, we have to make room for all the gorgeous new things that are coming. Cup of tea. I pulled a few things from my my stash of cards. We've got the dies here. Let's just see how much this was. It's right in the beginning of the catalogue, I know that. So this one's got 30% off now, it's down to £15.40 and the dies are £20.80. So a lovely set, very, very usable. Just a few things that I've done. These were literally things that I've pulled that I could get my hands on. I have got a zillion cards in this studio, believe me. Good evening, Rose. How are you doing? Thanks for stopping by. It's nice to have you here. Bit of flirty flamingo. So, just such a usable set. And here, I've I've not even used the teacup, but I've used the, the this flower and the foliage on that one. So that's cup of tea. Put those back in the box, and then the other one I was just going to share with you are the plentiful plants. I did loads with this, and I'm, we used this at one of my retreats as well. Um, let's have a look. Now, I thought I found this one out. Let's have a look in the back. I haven't put a marker. Um, page 63. So many reductions in here. Okay, another one, 60% off, down to £8. And goodness me, the dies are just £11.20. So less than £20. And that bundle is yours. Okay. A amazing. I've got just a couple of things that I've done. Just pulled off. That one's got a, a raindrop on it. A couple of things. I think I might have done these on a live as well. But they were located in a basket just across the studio. So I've... Managed to grab those quickly this morning. So that's just a little insight of a couple of my favourite things that are going. Believe me, there are way, way more. Um, it's very sad. But we won't go on about the sadness. We'll, we'll harp on about the joy of all the new things that are coming. So while I'm talking about things that are going as well, these are some other stamp sets that are leaving us but I had already planned classes with them this month. So I'll just quickly share them for those of you that are local. I have got, I think I might've shown you this or maybe it was on my VIP live that I did. Got my three cards and a 3D. Helen, this was inspired from your lovely treat box you gave me at our last get together. So that is one class, three, cla three cards and a 3D. You'll find these on my events website and hopefully there will be some videos coming for some of these. My six card class features on mint macaron, um, petal pink and so saffron again, which is going so super sad, um, but using up the colors. I designed these before I knew everything was going. So it wasn't planned. <laughs> and then the final one, which is my fun folds class. Let's just grab these out. 
Um, again, this one's using pale papaya, so we've got some nice folds here. Using up the even and evergreen and soft succulent. This is some old um, pattern paper, but it's the same colour, so I'm using it. And Sahara sand as well, which is another colour that's going. So I'm just going to show you that one, I think, because that one is reduced to a good price as well. A marker in my book for that one. Yeah, that one is down to eight pound forty. Okay, so they're hand penned petals. So so lovely. Let's look and see what the dies are. Um, one seventy three. Look at all my scrolls. The dies are just eleven pounds twenty. I've got all these silly pop ups coming on my phone. Okay, pen flowers, beautiful set. So again, another bundle, that one, with the dies for under £20. So, right, let's put all that to one side and get stamping. So what are we focusing on today? Got two sets that are sadly retiring. The decorative borders, which is in the mini catalogue. I'm just going to scooch that oh no i think i need to go that way oop sorry for the wobble that didn't really help at all did it let's go a bit more just moving my stand over because i've taped my grid paper down i think that'll do uh yeah decorative borders inspired thoughts i've only just started really loving this and it's so sad um this is on the retired list as well. I know this one is not reduced. I hadn't looked at the inspired thoughts. Let's have a quick look. Just so that you know, I don't think it is reduced. Page 77. Oh my gosh. I'd forgotten how, look at that £7.20. Guys, you need to get, if it hasn't gone already, you need this stamp set in your basket because I love it so much. I'm going to miss it. I've got about 17 stamp sets left on my shelves. So anyway, this is what we're focusing on today. We have got some other, in fact, there were two colours in here from my, well, one colour, Mint Macaron from my Retiring Colours. So we've got mint macaron, a bit of a grubby pale papaya one there, sweet sorbet and then soft suede. So these three are all going. Hello Kim, how are you doing? Lovely to have you here. I'm later than usual today. I'm going to be using my blends as well for my pale papaya. Right, let's get a wriggle on. I've got a card and a treat box to show you today. So let's start with the card. Let's pull in some kit pieces. So how the devil are we? How are we all doing? What have you been up to? I feel like life is one big whirlwind at the moment. It's, I feel like I'm just chasing my tail and not really catching up. And that includes sleep as well. Um, I was awake at five o'clock this morning. Good morning, Joe. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I was awake at five this morning and the weekend was the Formula One. Um, both qualifying and the race started at 6 a.m. Saturday and Sunday morning. So, yeah, it was early starts in, in, in the barn. Um, living in a barn, the, the uh, floorboards upstairs... So the whole house is floorboards apart from, so there's no carpets, it's just like rugs. Um, hello, Zanna, how are you doing? Upstairs is all floorboards as well, and they are so creaky. Even five, what, how long have we been here? Five and a half years. I'm still learning where to step quietly, <laughs> which floorboards to not step on that, that, that creak. Um, so yeah, there's no getting away with Jason getting up early and, and not waking me up. So, but it, apparently it was, I didn't watch it all, but apparently it was one of the best races. So it was worth it. Definitely worth it for him. So yeah, so I'm feeling tired. 
nothing new there really. Right, this is basic white, five and three quarters by eight and a quarter, and I've just scored it right down the middle. I'm gonna pop that to one side. So I did place my pre-order order this morning and I forgot to check if this paper was still available. Um, when I've gone back in to start a second order about an hour ago, this had sold out. So if you do not know, if you've not seen, um, the Stamparatus has sold out as well. They're discontinuing it and that is due to legal reasons from another manufacturer. So um, that's the reason why that has gone and everything that goes with it has gone, the deluxe mat. Um, I was gutted I didn't get myself another pack of this paper, but can always chop up the general grid paper um, for using by my desk for scraps. Okay, so what have we got? We have a layer for the front, which measures three and three quarters by five and three eighths. And then a matting layer of basic white, which will be three and five eighths by five and a quarter. Just checking my measurements. I do not trust myself at the moment. Honestly, I am, let's just say the word dimwit. Honestly, I don't know what it is at the minute. I just cannot focus on anything, do anything, can't retain anything. I'm just useless. <laughs> let's just call me useless. Okay, so we want to pull out from the petal park. And now that I know the other set that goes with this, which I'm gonna show you a picture of it, which I've been holding off getting, and I can't remember what it's called. Oh, now I can't find it. Let's have a flick. Doing lots of flicking this morning. Thankfully, Got not got too many things retiring. Oh, Sentimental Park. That's next on my list because I just love it. Um, and it's got a lovely die set that goes with it as well. So I'm going to be getting that. It's got some lovely greetings on there. But I've been holding out for that to go. Um, well, wondering if it was going to go or not. I didn't want to get it if it was going to then retire. So I've pulled out... The shadow and the outline stamps. It's nice to have you here, Joe. Thanks for stopping by. I know normally I'm on at like 9.30, which is way too early for some of you or too late, depending on where you live. Um, and 11 o'clock isn't really the best time to be going live. Is there a good time? Really, quite frankly, it's never going to suit everybody, um, which is the good thing about having the the replay over on YouTube. So, right, what we're going to start with is doing some flowers. Now, I haven't... Just grab a bit of basic white and cut myself some scraps to stamp them on. What I'm going to do, I'm going because I'm going to have to clean this. I'm going to do this in two colours. So I'm going to start with the pale papaya. So remember, this is an outgoing in colour. And I'm going to do an outline. How many of those do I want? Just one. An outline in that. And then I'm going to infill. Oops, get back on you. Actually, let's make sure that is lined up. When you've got two-step stamps like this, when you're lining in your second stamp, it's always a good idea is to stamp your outline first and then line over. This, this one doesn't move very much, but on these two here, because they're, they're like hinged in the middle with a tiny bit of um, rubber, there's a good chance that when you mount them on blocks, they're not going to sit, oops, they're not going to sit directly over the top of each other. So I always recommend that you stamp one of them first and then line your second stamp over the top and then pick it up. And then you know that it's exactly going to line up where it should be. This one doesn't want to stick today. It's quite hard to see through that. 
with the white background. So that is just kind of like two tone, one stamp, two tone. And I love that effect. Then let's just take my chamois, give those a clean off. And I will just use my wet wipe over the top of that because I don't know how clean my chamois is. It gets a lot of use and I do seem to clean it a lot, but let's just make sure that's dry. And then I'm going to go with the sweet sorbet and do exactly the same. I'm going to turn my paper up so that I can utilise my space better. And we're going to do the outline first. This will be easier to see through. Isn't that a fab colour? And then the shadow. Stamp off. And then just line that one in as best we can. It's a little bit off over on that side, but I haven't got my light on. That's better. I thought I couldn't see properly. Then we need to do another bit of stamping. So from the decorative borders, um, these images aren't shown at the full size. You can see here it says they're shown at 85%. But I particularly love this lovely like leafy foliage and this floral kind of sprig, we'll say. We'll call it a sprig. So what I want to do first, though, is punch those out. Lots of punches retiring as well, but we've got some new punches coming in, which is good. So this is the coordinating punch. So we're just going to line that in. Pop those out. And job to see. Oh, right in the ink pad. It's okay though, it fell the right way up. They fly, don't they? Right, we're gonna chop that off because we can use that bit in the corner for something, I'm sure. Bring back in that grid paper. And then we're going to use this lovely stamp here. So we've got like flowers and buds and a bit of foliage. I'm going to stamp that in to my pale papaya. And which way am I going to utilise best? Just stamp that one straight down. Then we need this one, but we're going to do that onto our layer. So I thought... I did think about how, how I would colour this in because there are no infill colours with this and because I'm using, um, when, you're, when you're using stamping blends, it's recommended that we use, I have to take my shirt off, I'm getting warm, um, it's recommended we use the Memento but because I didn't want to stamp my image in black, I thought I would just be really careful and colour in with my blend in the same colour. So obviously these are going at this one I think has very nearly ran out, which was kind of good timing. So I'm literally just going to colour the flowers just very gently, add a little bit of colour. I don't want to cause any bleeding or anything. Now is that a flower or yeah, is that a flower or some foliage? So it's just to add a hint of colour and this is kind of, it's not going to stand out that much this. Let's add those little bits as well. So I've just added a really simple bit of colour there. So let's chop, chop that one off and we'll deal with that in a moment. And then what else do we need? Also used, thinking about it, 
I'm, I'm sad about this, but I knew this was going to happen. This is the country floral, no, country gingham paper. And I've still got a lot left. So I'm definitely going to be using this up. I am using some of it for classes this month, which you might have seen earlier. But it is just adorable. I love it. We've got balmy blue and mint macaron on the other sides as well. Um, I haven't had a chance to check what has gone out of stock already this morning, but if I wasn't a demonstrator, I would for sure be ordering a couple of packets of this because I just love, love the print. We do have a little sneak peek. Um, well, not a sneak peek, but a little sneak tell. We do have some gingham paper coming in the new catalogue, which I think is in six by six. Um, so I will definitely be ordering that when it comes. Right, let's just first cut this out. So you're going to have to bear with me a moment while I fussy cut this. Let's just check your comments. Just trim around. So Alfie has been a regular customer at our local vet the last it's been a month now back and forth scans x-rays antibiotics more antibiotics then more antibiotics and bloods and admissions for the day bless him but he is definitely seeming much more like himself i just hope that he is healing on the inside as well as he is appearing to be on the outside. So this is quite faffy to cut, but you know me, I do not mind a bit of fussy cutting. Let's just chop that off. It's going to get in the way. Um, I never find anything too challenging to trim around. Thankfully, Stampin' Up! are very good and supply us with dies for most most intricate things but it just depends i guess what you're wanting to do with something i mean this could just be stamped directly onto the background of your layer that you're working with i've just chosen to fussy cut it and make it pop because i can so it is it's quite a faffer <laughs> not one you'd want to be like preparing a hundred swaps for or 50 invites for your best friend's birthday. You'd have to reconsider that. So, so my weekend, I'm always chatting to you about what I'm up to. I know you like to know what, what goes on around here. It was pretty boring, really. I, I only left the house all weekend to go to Sainsbury's, um, which is pretty sad. Or did I even get to Sainsbury's? Was it Marks and Spencer's? I think it was Marks and Spencer's food hall I went to on Saturday. Um, I can't even remember. That's how my head is. That might have been in the week. I definitely did do Sainsbury's. Uh, yeah, Saturday morning I worked and... Let's give that a curl. And then family were around Saturday afternoon. Sunday morning... I sort of caught up on a bit of housework, did a bit of sorting out in the house as well. Um, a friend is having a sale and the proceeds are going to um, MS Society, I want to say. Now my brain has gone blank. Um, but yeah, so I was sorting out some bits and bobs for her to give her to help out. So... Yeah, I got a bit of work done, a bit of cleaning, a bit of ironing. Um, and then Sunday we went to see Sophie and Alex and had dinner with them. So, yeah, the weekends just come and go, don't they? So, not a lot else happened around here, really. Right, did a bit of gardening, a bit of um, weeding down in the kitchen garden. So, I've got all of my seeds now. I just need to get in that greenhouse um, and you know what, a day like today would be lovely in the greenhouse because it would be so toasty in there. It's one of those days when you just want to like pull up a chair in the greenhouse and just shut your eyes for 10 minutes. So 
So, okay, right, on this layer, I've just realised I need another set stamp from my petal park. We just want that tiny weeny little splat, and then we'll need a greeting in a minute as well. Let's find a block for that one. Right, what we want to do on this one is we're going to take this lovely foliage stem. I'm going to use my mat because it's photopolymer. I'm going to have a bit of mint macaron. And I'm just going to pop a couple of stems. I don't think I need to mask anything on this one. I have one on there. I might mask this one. I'm just going to get a post-it note. I think I've got ink on me now from somewhere. And I'm just going to pop that at the bottom just so that I don't get any of this stem where I don't want it. And we'll have another one. Maybe at that kind of angle. So can you see, just by masking that off, it just means I don't get any stem coming down low. So what I wanna do next is with my little splat. Can't forget the splat, no. And I did notice when I was going through my, my pile of stamps that are retiring, how many splats I was losing starting to get anxiety about oh, how many splats have I got left so and I just cannot wait for the new catalogue to actually appear in the post because you cannot beat browsing a paper copy it's okay seeing it online but it's just not the same as having it in your hand and that smell of, of a new publication Okay, so we've just added some greenery to the background and then a bit of splattage. And I've trimmed off a piece of the sweet sorbet paper and we're just gonna pop that down at the bottom. Let's get the Tombow rolling. I have been tucking into my treats, Helen, that was in your goodie bag. Um, when I had a little moment over here, I'm, I'm pretty good at resisting all of the treats that are surrounding me on my desk, um, waiting for a box to be made with them or something. I'm pretty good at resisting, but the other day, just fancying a little bit of chocolate and your, your lovely gift bag was in front of me. So I just help myself to one. Right, we just pop in that one down on there like that. I'm just use my grid paper to line that up. And then we're going to turn it over and check we haven't got any overhangers a little teeny bit on this end. So literally a slither will take that one off. And then I thought it'd be nice to add a bit of the gold trim. Now this is carrying over. I forget what its actual official name is because I've taken it out of the packet. Um, let's have a look. Is it Simply Elegant Trim? Yes, so it's there. Simply Elegant Trim. I don't know if that's going up in price, I'm not sure, but we are going to be having some price increases on cardstock inks, some of our tools. So do be wary of that. Um, what I'm gonna do is pull out. Yeah, a treat is good, isn't it? I'm gonna pop a glue dot just behind there. And one on the opposite side. And that's just at the base of my paper. So just at the bottom part. Looks like dirt on my finger, but it's it's just Tombow. My hands are so dry. I'm constantly putting hand cream on. They're just so dry at the minute. 
Right, I'm going to wrap this around. Double, a double wrap. Push that down. And trim it off. What I try to do to keep this in order is I put a little glue dot there and then I just press that against the glue dot and it does hold it in place and it stops it untangling everywhere. The other thing I quite often do is store, I keep I keep these next to me in my, my caddy but I do store, you know the goo pots that I love, I do store a lot of things in these and when you've got a few in there but when they start unraveling that really does annoy me it's a bit like having a carrier bag with coat hangers in you know and they start tangling together i just can't deal with that i'm strange i know but I've got ink on there but never mind i think it is ink as well i did say i had mint macaron on my fingers Right, let's lay these two down. And just mat them together. I've got a nice even border, just a really skinny border of colour going on. Around the edge. I quite loved this colour combo. I'm not going to be able to love it for much longer, but really liked the pale papaya with the sweet sorbet. Quite a nice combination. And then what we can do now, we've got those together, is pop that onto our base card. So tombow around the edge. I don't put it too close to the edge, otherwise it just squidges out everywhere. And it's such a strong adhesive that it holds. Don't need to put a lot on. Yeah, if you drop those spools, they unravel everywhere, don't they? They kind of like live their best life for a moment and just like unroll everywhere in front of you across the table. And then you spend a minute wrapping it back up to then let go of it and it unravels again. Okay, so quite, quite fresh and crisp, this one today. All right, what I'm going to do with this one is pop a couple of mini dimensionals on the back and just lay it down I might just chop that off a little see if I can wedge it under there a bit although that's going to be hidden so I'm not going to worry too much And we want it kind of at that kind of angle. So I'm just putting it down in the middle. And then now that it's down there, I'm just going to take that little splat and just add carefully another one at the top. I'm just going to get rid of that bit of random cardstock. Okay, so just building it up and we'll add in our flowers let's stamp our greeting first actually I've cut some really skinny strips sometimes I cut these strips to length and quite often I have leftover skinny strips like that that I keep um, and from the inspired thoughts I'm just going to use falling out of their places the congratulations, because that covers all the bases. Get a long block. I always like a long block when I'm doing a greeting. I'm going to pull in my scrap, because I need to... This isn't photopolymer, and I need to get it on this super skinny strip. And I'm going to use soft suede. I am going to miss this colour. I do like soft suede. Right, first of all, I'm going to test it on this line, see how straight it is. So it's slightly up on the right. So if I go slightly 
down on the right. Not that much. <laughs> Definitely not that much. We should be somewhere. Oh gosh. Oh no. It's gonna be it's gonna be a third time try. I'm not gonna talk. That's a bit better. It's probably the best out of the three. It's not perfect, but it will do. I've probably got a ton sat right by me as well from when I was playing with this before. First one wasn't too bad, but that one was definitely a failure. And then I'm going to add a couple of dimensionals behind here. So is anybody really sad about... I'm just going to give my hands a wipe with my wet wipe a minute. So I've got Tombo on me. Any re anybody really sad about something that's disappearing? Not colours, but a product. Um, like I, show I showed you some of my favourites earlier. The f I'm shocked about the framed florets because I just think that was such a good kind of all-round bundle um, with the oval dies in it um, that can be used for so many different things. A bit sad about that. Right, I'm just going to pop our greeting and hide that ugly bit at the bottom like that and then we'll add some flowers now I might need some of these for after that one and that one I think take my take your pick tool give them all a squish And we're literally just going to, let's put glue on the back because I'm not 100% sure where these are going to go. Um, over here somewhere. Helen, what are you saying? The watercolour shapes, yeah. For me grabbing my pile of dies. These are all my retiring dies. I mean, that one's going. It's the shapes. Is it beautiful shapes or where are they? Cannot find them. Beautiful shapes. That one is going. So many sad, sad things departing. But as I've said, so many gorgeous new things. And some of those dyes I've had for a long while as well. So we'll pop one down there. And then the little one kind of up at the top to Balance, balance it out a little. And then I pulled out, um, these are carrying over by the way. Um, oh, talking of things that are going. Let me grab my little pile. Of embellishments. I've pulled out all my embellishments that are going. Um, I've not even used those. That's terrible, isn't it? These are going. I will be using a lot of these. I've just bought a new packet of these. I can't believe they're going. They're very, very usable. So basic pearls are going. Opal rounds are going. The red rhinestones. I believe they're going. I can't see them in the new catalogue. They're from the mini, I believe and the pastel pearls. So those are all the ones that I have that are going. But the rhinestones and the pearls, I'm sad they are going. So these are from the pastel adhesive sequins. 
Um, but the pastel ones have gone. I've given those away and I left myself with the gold. So these are carrying over. You get normally 300 in here. So you get... Actually, I've got some that I packaged. You might have seen this. Um, I was just going to gift these to somebody. But I just... I, I've got a ton of these little spotty bags. So I just cut off the other two and kept the gold for me. But they're beautiful. They're waiting to go out the door. So... But these are fab. Look how, you know, look how many you get just of the gold. Just do that up a bit. Got rather a lot of putty on here. And then I'm just going to add that one. And you are trying to escape. Let's keep everything in order. That's my OCD. I have to take them down the line I don't pull random ones off I like them to look neat and stay looking pretty gosh honestly I've got issues but at least I can admit to it let's hope that's adhesive down there and nothing else yep honestly as well how often do you see me pulling this out it's a bit like my take your pick tool I'd be lost without it so we're going to call that one done. You could embellish on this more. There's so much more. You could just start with this as your starting point and um, move way much forward with this. You really could. You could be heat embossing and all sorts of things. So that's my card. Let's do a little box to go with it. My original, pretty much the same, really. Let's create a little box. Because you know I love my packaging. Right, where's my bits and pieces? Let's have a little tidy up round here. Put things back where they belong. Okay. So, get your pencils ready. And I'll give you the measurements for this. So I've got pale papaya and I've got two pieces here. This piece here measures six inches by five and a quarter. Five and a quarter by six. And then I've got a lid piece here, this small piece, which is three inches by three and a quarter. Now I'm going to just elaborate on this and say it's three inches and a smidge. Okay, can you see the smidge? And three and a quarter and a smidge. Okay, so it's just a little bit extra. It's not a measurement. It's just to allow the lid to fit snugly over the bottom of the box. Um, Let's get the scoreboard. Sorry guys, I feel like I'm just not with it at the moment. You know when you feel like your head's on someone else's body or your head isn't attached to your body? I'm feeling a bit like that at the minute. Too many things going on. Right, so we're gonna pop this in our trimmer. Just making sure I've got this the right way round. Yeah. Portrait, so along the five and a quarter edge, we're going to score at one inch, two and a quarter, three and a quarter, and four and a half. Then we're going to turn it landscape and score at one inch from each side. So then we're going to turn it 180 and score it at one inch. Then our lid, we're just simply scoring at one inch on each of the four edges. So one inch and turn, 
one inch and turn. Okay, so we just end up the panel like that. And then a panel like that. Let's move that out of the way. And then we'll do some cutting. So from the lid piece, you're just going to snip up all of those score lines and take a teeny little wedge out of there. I think I might have shown some of you this if you were here in my studio. Was it last week or the week before? Honestly, the way the weeks are flying by, I can't keep track of everything at the moment. Okay, so we've just got a wedge out of each of those. And then on this piece here, we've got one, two, three, four. We've got five panels. I don't know if you can see at that angle. Let me just wait for it to catch up. Have your right, the right panel being the skinniest one. It should be three quarters of an inch thereabouts. And then we're going to take out the top and the bottom panel. like that and then from these top pieces we're going to snip in and then wedge them so we're just going to snip up to that first score line and then we're going to just take out little wedges from each panel and then I will show you why that is okay so hopefully you can see that and then from the bottom panel we're just going to snip up each of those score lines to that first score line. Such a job to see with the light. And then I'm going to give them all a crease. Now we were having this debate before about do you crease the score lines before you cut or do you crease after? I think I generally cut first and then crease like I've just done. So we'll just reinforce all of those lines. And do the same on the lid. Like that. Then We'll stick the lid together first. So just got Tombow all over me. How does it happen? By having that little wedge, it gives you movement. So you can actually push that panel in a bit rather than it popping out like that you can actually push it in right because this is quite tiny we want to make sure that these go in so just add a bit of glue on that one so yeah very disjointed day to day of I'm gonna have to go and pick Alfie back up and then I've got to go back out because I've got an appointment with the mus musco skeletal department about my dodgy leg, about that dodgy muscle that I've had for years. Enough is enough, I need to get it sorted. I've had physio on it, but they we got to a point where they said um, that I'd have to go and have a scan because it was obviously something very deep. 
and that was a sports injury from 2016 and I keep putting up with it and then it rears its ugly head and then it goes away then I put up with it for a bit and I'm I'm at the point now of like I need to sleep so I'm gonna have to get to the bottom of this right you can see how our box is going to kind of come together but what I've done is reinforce the top because this only uses half a sheet of cardstock. We still we had enough height on here to double line the top. So these panels here are all going to come across and just stick down like that. We'll just reinforce those. A bit of Tombow coming out, but we'll get rid of that. Break it out. Give the hands a wipe. And so can you see now we've got a lovely, rather than a raw edge at the top, we've got a lovely folded over edge. Now you could have waited to do that last one and tucked that in first, but I don't think there's any need. There's no major need in my eyes to do that so we're ending up with a little box that looks like this so that is going to be the back of my box so this is going this panel here is going to be my front and i've cut myself a piece of sweet sorbet which is just going to sit neatly on the front i might just cut a slither off of that edge I'll measure it for you because of the 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 cardstock that you lose when you fold it around a corner um, this measures one and an eighth in fact it, it is just over according to this ruler so I'm just going to trim a slither off try and do it straight if I can which is hard in my big trimmer So that measures one and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And then I've got a piece of matting basic white, which should measure one inch by three and three quarters of an inch. Tombow all over my ruler as well. I'm always cleaning that ruler. It must mean that I get Tombow on my hands quite a lot, mustn't it? So you will have seen me use these and I know you are all adoring them. Most of you. Some of you have said they're not your cup of tea. Um, but they definitely are mine. So I'm going to be using this one. What's that on the back of it? More Tombow. More adhesive. And I just thought it'd be fun to run this panel through. So going to run that through my machine quickly. No die cutting today. Which is unusual for me on a live. But we've got the punch today, haven't we? Okay, so I'm just going to layer those two together. Good amount of colour coming through from the sweet sorbet. And then I'm going to pop that down onto here. And then we can assemble this box. You could fit a multitude of things in here, but I'm going to show you in a minute what I popped in here, what I designed the box for. So now I've got that layer on, I'm going to stick these tabs together. So the way you can do it is fold your tab in and then fold it in half, but I like to do it, I like to line it up properly. So I'm just gonna line those two in. 
and make sure that the top is flush. And then we can give it a squidge. Like that. And we've just got a really nice, got a little bit of where I cut that. Um, where I cut the wedges in there, it's a bit hanging off. So we've got a really good sized um, box, <laughs> box, bag. And then what I like to do is put the sides in first. So we'll put a bit of Tombow just on there. Then we'll put the back in. And then the front one goes over last. Square it all up, lay it down, and then carefully just give that a press down. You can do that with your bone folder as well. We'll just go in there. That's probably easier if she can give it, move it around a bit and give it a good press. There, so there's our box and then our little lid should just fit on. Oops, very snugly like that. That's a really good, quite a tight fit. But what I wanna do around my lid is take a strip of the coordinating paper. I might have to trim some of this off actually. So we'll just pop that round. Make sure it's central to start off with. Crease the edges around and pinch them. Oops, trying to come off. And then line it up. Actually, that just fits. I'm not going to trim any off. Just have a bit of Tombow on there. Don't want to see it overlapping though. Get up a bit. Like that. Just gonna pull that off, give it a pinch, make sure it's stuck. You can see how snugly that fits on there. And then I stamped one of these. And I've cut it out ready so you didn't have to watch me cut it out. And I've trimmed off a little bit from the bottom. I'm just going to pop a couple of dimensionals behind. I uh, might need some slithers actually. That will work a lot better for these skinny leaves. One more down at the bottom there. Take off the backs. Talking of back, <laughs> mine is aching. I think that's probably the weeding I was doing in my kitchen garden. I had the hoe out and yeah, my shoulders were aching as well. Not used to it. But we'll soon be getting back used to it with all the planting that needs to go on around here. So we're just going to line that one in. Like that. So I haven't put... Oop. haven't put dimensionals at the top there because the lid goes on and off kind of over that. And then I just want to, oh, I've got a couple of flowers in stock. So I'm going to pull that one in, save me stamping any more. And just give these a bit of life. Add another greeting. And for this one, because I just wanted something small, I thought I would just use the hello. Got a strip there, but I don't know if that'll be skinny enough. Just gonna clean off my other 
greeting and just steal that block. Let's see if I've got anything in here that's a little bit skinnier than that. About that one. That's better. Get that bit of adhesive off. Um, we'll have a little practice on this one first, just to see how straight it's mounted. So we'll follow a line on our grid paper. Looks like it's slightly down on the right. Although that one looks straight. Let's just give it a go. We've got, we've got the emergency side as well if we need it. So, no talking just concentrating that's not bad we'll go with that one to start with bang in the middle maybe a little bit skew if but i'm sure the recipient won't mind that and then we're just going to add in these flowers oh that's the one that got dropped in the soft suede ink In these flowers. I'm just going to have them like hanging over the edge of the box a little bit, that won't hurt. It seems really weird not having Alfie here. Mooching about, going up and down the stairs, going outside, because we have um, motion cameras here as well, so I know when he's on a wander down the garden because my phone tells me. Right. Pop our little greeting on another bit of dimensional. And we'll just have that one hanging in there like that and then I think just some more of these lovely sequins I love it that they've got adhesive on the back already they're so quick quick to use so we'll have a small one up there put another big one down here like that and then I thought to finish this could be a faff doing this morning Belle my lovely you've been at the chiropractor chiropractor at 11 you're gonna watch the catch up later well thanks for stopping by yeah I'm off out in a bit for an appointment about my leg so hoping that they can either give me some very deep massage on it or that they're going to refer me for an x-ray to see what is actually going on. Right, I'm just going to tie this around into a bow. I don't want to waste this, so let's pull it that way a bit. I think that'll be enough. Right, so I'm going to pull it tight, pop my little finger in, tie it. Oops. Pull it tight, pop my little finger in, tie a knot, pull it tight, like that. Okay, and then we'll do our bow. Hope I've left enough to do my bow. Don't think I have, but talk about challenging myself. Right, let's just try and pull that tight. It is quite slippery, this twine. It's lovely though. Pull it really tight. I don't mind that frayed edge. I think we'll maybe fray the opposite edge to match. Give it a twizzle. Can't grab hold of it. That's it. And then it will just fray out the more we pull and faff with it. 
Should have made it a little bit longer. I do like a longer bow, longer tails, but you can get where we're coming from. So if I take you to my original, and then we can reveal the contents. So kind of works with my color scheme as well. I said to, I think it wasn't my team, it was some ladies that I had here. And I said, I don't know what it is about this biscuit, but it feels like so expensive. It's really deep. It's not very heavy, but it's got wafer inside it covered in chocolate. But I think I might have to open one up and try one because I have not had one of these for a million years. So neither have I had one of these for a million years. Um, but yeah, this is what I designed it for. There will be a multitude of things that you will fit inside this little box. Would make a great colleague gift, teacher gift, any kind of simple thank you gift. Um, so hopefully, and it uses such minimal cardstock as well. So hopefully you will recreate, have a go and recreate some. Um, you could even do some for Easter. What am I looking for? My cards. If you've got time, we've got a few days left till Easter. And then you could pop some eggs in there. I think I've got some eggs in my cupboard. Although, I have been stealing these every now and then. I've not got many left. Um, I have been stealing some of these. Guilty. But these large eggs. Oh, they fit in quite nicely. Three fit. They're quite big, aren't they? Quite a good snack. There's also one of these sitting on my desk as well. But yeah, maybe that could be a good little table tree. It could be a favour for a party or anything. Um, so yeah, good little size. I'd, I'd love to know if you've recreated one and what you've put inside. Please do let me know. So, Jill... Joe, you you like the tunnocks. They um I just need to try one. I'm I'm I know what it's gonna taste like, but I haven't had a wafer with chocolate on it for quite some time. So I'm definitely gonna try one soon. You think they're delicious. And you love the project. Thank you, Joe. Uh Jill, tunnocks caramel wafers are your dad's favourite. Oh bless. We always had them when you went out walking in the lakes. Oh lovely. So I love how that that just makes you reminisce as well. I also saw that they do them in dark chocolate. For those of you who like dark chocolate. Um, yeah, they look substantial. They just, they look substantial. I mean, for me, that, you're going to think I'm a right lightweight. That might be two sittings for me. Two cups of coffee. Um, maybe not all in one go. I'm not a huge chocolate fan, but I like just a little bit, so... Thank you, Rose, for your lovely comments. Um, I love this colour combo. I love it. I'm going to have to try and find something that is similar that I can team. I don't know how petal pink. Petal pink would work with it equally because petal pink is in this paper, isn't it? So petal pink and then another green to look at what new greens we've got coming in or maybe change it to a blue. We've got some great blues coming. So yeah, definitely we'll be playing around with what else the sweet sorbet will team with. Right, what is the time now? 20 past 12, I am going to love you and leave you. I'm gonna ring the vets now and see if Alfie's had his scan and if he's ready for collection because they were hoping to not have to sedate him today. So um, he's, He's pretty good boy at the vet. He's quite well behaved, so. Joe, you like the tea cakes? Yeah, I like the tea cakes, but they don't last very long, do they? They're just, and they're messy, a bit messy to eat. But yeah, that one sat there waiting for me to recreate some packaging. So it's constantly on view. Right, I'm going to be off and I will catch up with you all very soon. Happy shopping on that retired list. And happy shopping if you're a demonstrator for those new products and new colours. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm sure Alfie will be fine. Thank you, Rose, for asking. 
Um, I'm not sure they may, we may have to still continue with some more antibiotics. It depends if the, the prostate abscess has shrunk enough. So fingers crossed it has. So anyway, I will keep you all in touch. Thank you for stopping by. If you're catching me on the replay, please leave me a comment. I will get back in touch with you. Um, Joe, you like the whole thing in one go. I don't blame you, my lovely. I'm just not a massive... I've got a really small appetite. I don't do anything big, any of my meals there. I'm a, I'm a grazer, so I could maybe eat three of those bars in one day, but not, not one all in one go. I'll spread it out, so... Yeah, anyway, I keep saying goodbye. Um, oh, hi, Lucianne. I'm trying to say goodbye to everyone. And then and then new people are popping in. Lucianne, I've got something to go in the post to you as well. Um, and I need to get in touch with you as well. I didn't know whether you might be thinking of coming to a class this month. Um, but I'm going to be adding in an extra class on a Thursday because we're we've got like bank holiday weekend and Easter and so some people might be away so I thought I might push another class in so um Joe you wish your appetite was small yeah mine's just not massive but like I've said I'm a grazer so and I can eat a good meal when I want to um but I'm just so much of a grazer which doesn't help does it, it takes the appetite away right I am off I'm gonna ring the vets and be on my way and I will catch up with you all very soon thank you so so much for stopping by I love love spending time with you um, and I hope you've enjoyed the project so I'll see you soon bye for now